We have finally reached the final waterway in Fishing Planet here. And I'm doing a little bit of fishing. Looks like we got a coho on the line. 19 pound trophy. There are uniques in here too, guys. Let's try to get out there and see what we can catch here in the Kinnick Creek in Alaska in Fishing Planet. Greetings and salutations everyone, Jake Vegas here with Jake Vegas Digital. Today we're going to do some fishing. Alright, so we've reached Alaska, Knick Creek, the final waterway, at least in Fishing Planet's current, uh, current build, and we're going to go fishing for some coho salmon. Now, I'm going to start off float fishing and I'm going to start off using the Brutus 9 foot 10 inch pole. Got it lined up with I believe 28 pound line. Going to set the leader length down to 99 inches all the way, max depth. Four out hook, and we're gonna fish spawn sacks out here for these coho salmon with the float rod. We're also gonna get into a little bit of lure fishing while we're out here. Now, bullet spinners I found seem to work best on this lake for the cohos. Uh, all kinds of bullet spinners, the blue and rose trout color, as well as a few other ones. We're gonna be using the black beetle spin bullet spinner today while we're out there and see if we can't land some coho with it. So, with that said, guys, Let's uh, wrap this up and get right into this Alaska fishing. All right, everyone, we've made it to Alaska Knick Creek. It is the final waterway in Fishing Planet, and we're going to do some coho fishing today. I spawned in at the Hunter's Cabin. I probably should have showed you guys, recorded myself walking down here, but where I'm at on the map, you spawned at the Hunter's Cabin, you turn to your left, and you walk down, you walk far down, way down till you reach uh, where the Knick Creek starts to open up here. You'll see open water out there. I, I come down here and right where the river starts to bend, I cast uh, spawn sacks at 99 inches deep with a four rod hook, cast it out there and I just let that float, float down the river like that, uh, float down the creek like that. And usually I'll start getting some hits right around I'll start getting some see there we go we got a ding right now i'll st start getting some hits right around uh where that river starts to bend where that creek starts to bend around that corner now you'll see me reeling out oh we got a hit we got a fish on i think come on i think we got it yeah we got it on the line now okay we got a fish on drag is ripping a little bit ripping a little bit a hundred feet out there a hundred feet out there this uh this fish got on the line here i think it's a scent well, I'm almost positive it's a salmon. Um, I think this this creek here is just packed with mainly salmon. There, I've heard there's northern pike in here too. Haven't had a chance to really check out the fish species list yet. Uh, but from what I know, there is a lot of different species of salmon here. And most likely that's what we have on the line right now. I got to be honest, I fished a little bit. I've been out here for three fishing planet days so far. And mainly I've caught coho in this area, coho salmon. Have landed a few Chinooks. And, um, oh man, what was the other one that I caught? Pink salmon. Caught a pink salmon over here and I think a chum as well. But mainly coho. Uh, especially using these spawn sacks. Real great bait out here to consistently land the, the coho salmon. So we got this thing at about 93 feet out there. Having a difficult time reeling it in here. It's got some fight to it. Definitely got some fight to it. Beautiful Knick Creek. I gotta say the water for some reason on this uh, this river, this creek here, seems to look the most realistic to me compared to uh, some of the other lakes and waterways that are available in the game. But yeah, so far been out here three days, really enjoying, really enjoying the fish in here. Let's see, got this thing at 47 feet out there. Getting it in a little bit closer. It's jumping out there, it's pink. Look at that pink body on that thing. That is a coho. Somebody just caught a unique. That's another thing, guys. There are uniques galore, it seems like. I'm always seeing people catching uniques out here. Let's see what we got. We landed ourselves an 18-pound trophy coho salmon. Not bad. Look at that pink body. We got these fish up by me in Lake Michigan. Real cool fish here. 18-pounder trophy not a bad way to start the video. We'll go ahead and keep it and put it in the keep net. Now I'm going to go ahead and cast right back out there. You'll see just to the right of where the river bends. 
I'm going to go ahead and cast out there. After I talked to my buddy Ash here, he uh, just uh, pretty much congratulated me, congratulated me on uh, catching that trophy. Going to type a message real quick, so bear with me, guys. And then uh, we'll get right back to the fishing here in a second. Yep. There we go. Letting them know that I want to get the uniques out of here. So I cast right to the right of where the river starts to bend. You can see out there, as far as I can cast for the most part. And you'll notice that it automatically, that float automatically starts just floating down the river. So I will consistently uh, let line out. I will move the... Uh, Move the drag back, or not the drag, but the uh, the reel speed back to where I'm letting out line rather than reeling in line and just kind of let that float make its way down the creek until we start getting some hits from uh, from something that's out there. Right, so it looks like something might be playing with the bobber right now. Hard to tell. We'll go ahead and let that float float down the river, and I'm sure in due time, it will entice one of those salmon out there to uh, come up and hit it. But yeah, like I was saying, this this creek is is packed, packed, guys. It seems like with uniques and trophies, trophies and uniques. I mean, I'm always, always uh, seeing people catching trophies and uniques, all kinds of different different salmon, Chinook, coho. Um, yeah, I mean, if you're looking, if you're gunning to get those trophies, you really want to get those unique fish. I think Alaska would probably be a good good place for you to achieve that. And we still don't have a fish that has uh, taken this, taken the spawn sack yet. It's kind of sitting out there. We're 143 feet out there. Just reeling that line out. It's kind of a patience game. Sometimes you'll get, oh, we got the ding. Sometimes you'll get hits right away. See, there's somebody with another unique. Sometimes you'll get hits right away. Sometimes you got to leave that out there for a little bit. But eventually, you will get uh, salmon out there playing with those spawn sacks and eventually taking it under. I hope <laughs> it's playing with it, but it doesn't seem like it wants to take it just yet. You see the end? Oh, there we go. There we go. We got a hit. We got, oh, don't lose there. <laughs> we got a fish on, guys. Yep. There we go. Drag is ripping. Nice. 130 feet out there we have. You can see it splashing and fighting out there. What a good feeling. Man, I've been playing Fishing Planet for almost a year now, almost a full year, making videos on it since I believe last, uh, today, it's 2018, it's almost June of 2018, I think it's been at least 11, almost 12 months since I've been making videos on this game, and I can't believe I finally made it to Alaska. Look at that fish fighting out there, I can't believe it, I, I remember when I first started playing this game. I didn't think that Alaska would be anywhere in my sights. And after a long haul here, finally got to this final final destination here in Fishing Planet. Man, that rod is wobbling. I bet you this is a big one, guys. This might get a thing wobble out there fighting. This one might be a unique. I wouldn't doubt it. I think I could say that safely because People land trophies and uniques, like I was saying earlier, like crazy out here. Bringing this thing up here. Let's see what it is. This one looks like a big one. Let's check it out. Boom! Look at that. Unique coho salmon. Second fish for the video, and it's a unique. Wow. Not the biggest salmon I've caught. I actually caught a unique coho my first day here in Alaska. But this one is up there. Pretty pink body on it. Pink. It's my favorite color. <laughs> Look at that fish. Takes a few pictures of that for the photo album, photo collection. Yeah, she's a nice one. Definitely a nice one. $1,019, guys, will put it in the keep net. Alright, a little bit later in the morning, still on day three, still fishing the same spot with the same bait at the same depth, and just letting it float down there. We just got that ding a second ago. You can see by the bobber indicator, something is out there messing with it. And we got it. Oh, I think, yeah, we got it. We got it. Look at that out there, guys. You're going to catch, uh, there's a lot of coho in this spot. But you are going to catch um, Chinook as well. I've caught a pink salmon over here. I think the uh, bull trout I might have even caught. 
I've caught quite a few different fish over here, but I gotta say in this spot, the main fish that I've caught, especially off these spawn sacks, has been the coho salmon. And uh, in regards to payment, they seem to pay really well per pound uh, compared to the other salmon that are in here. So we are at 90 feet right now. 90 feet, a little bit of rod wobble. Thing is fighting out there. It's just got a real good kind of kind of spring or fall feel to it. This lake does this creek. Yeah, we'll go ahead. We almost got this thing up to shore. 36 feet out there. Drag is ripping. A little bit of rod wobble still. See if we can't get this thing up here a little bit more. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I gotta say, like I said, I can't believe I made it to Alaska. Glad I finally got here. I hope, looking forward to, hopefully sometime soon, the European waterways get released. Right now, this is the final destination of Fishing Planet. We got another trophy, guys. 19 pounder. Look at that thing. Another trophy coho salmon. Now, let's see if we could try some lure fishing after we put this one in the keep net. All right, guys, I am out here with Stitch and Hogger doing some casual fishing. Bumped it up uh, to the Black Beetle spinner. And look at that. We got a fish on using this thing. I just do a lift and drop off the bottom with these spinner baits, these uh, bullet spinners. And I seem to do fairly well. I really don't want to fast forward. Now, I got my Discord open with Hogger and Stitch in it, so you're going to hear them in the background occasionally. I kind of do. The next day is a sunny day. But let's go ahead and reel this in, guys. I do a lift and drop with this beetle spin off the bottom. And uh, works good on a cloudy day. The rose and trout or the blue or the blue rose trout or just the plain blue bullet. Don't want to lose it. Plain blue. Oh, yeah, nice coho. Thanks, man. Plain blue uh, bullet spinner works good on sunny days. It seems like, man, let's oh, yeah. get this thing up and see what we oh, got. We no. think. <laughs> Unique coho salmon, guys. Thank you. This is the biggest coho salmon I've caught so far in Alaska. Look at that guy. Going to let him flop out there a little bit. That is a nice fish, guys. Uniques. Two uniques in this video. There are plenty of trophies and uniques out here for everyone to come out here and uh, start catching. Hope this video helps you out, guys. Going to conclude here. You guys know the drill. If you enjoyed this video, shoot that like button. Be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell if you want to stay up to date on future content. I'm Jake Vegas with Jake Vegas Digital. Thanks for watching. Keep on fishing in the free world and we will see you next time.